Hey there, it's Debo again. This time we're talking about my hotel, the Great West Hotel. It was originally part of the Capital City uh, set that came out and had a lot of little different vignettes to it. And one of them was this hotel front. Well, it was the, the spinning door. Uh, it had, I think, two window frames and the hotel sign, the sidewalk, the planters, uh, and a couple couple of other little bits there but uh, what I've done is pretty much just expanded it into a full-blown hotel uh, at first I was just going to get a couple of windows uh, from bricks and pieces to you know just make the front all uniform but then the more I got into the construction of it and the limited number of tan pieces I had I ended up getting just a ton of those window frames uh, to, to help take up a lot of space there on the upper floors but we're going to uh, take a look inside there in a second we're just doing a quick 360 around the outside you see that little darker colored piece there that is actually a uh, inverted slope that's keeping the stairs up inside but we're gonna we're gonna see that soon enough here uh, taking a look at the top uh, it's just kind of a jumble of odd and mismatched pieces that I couldn't use anywhere else. and It kind of looks like a pseudo-1930s transition from Beaux-Arts to modernism kind of a kind of a look to it. Uh, maybe maybe a piece of Art Deco worked its way in there, but yeah, it's it, it's a it's a very very particular time period in architecture and I I'm a big modernism fan that's that's my deal right there so I most most of my buildings reflect that so we have a lot of open interior space uh, with walls as thin as possible and windows as as, as much as possible just to uh, make it as cheap as possible to make these buildings larger so we're taking a look here at the uh, the top floor we see the bathroom over here on this side we have a, a toilet sink and a bathtub right across from the uh, the large presidential suite the super huge bed in there uh, it also has a keypad for entry as well there is a pull down staircase to get from that top floor to the uh, roof section uh, but i didn't really show that here now all the other floors are going to have stairs connecting up uh, from one level to the next and it's, it's pretty much a cookie cutter pattern for the rooms because I mean it's a hotel and there's there's uniformity uh, just makes it a whole lot easier to design and execute and clean I guess you know that too but looking in here we got uh, some of the first Star Wars figures I actually got, they were, uh, I think, Force Unleashed. So we have uh, like a battle damage Darth Vader there and his apprentice. But uh, a lot of the Overwatch figures end up hanging out in this hotel because, I mean, they've really got nowhere else to go in town. So yeah, we have five functional rooms uh, and a bathroom, as well as a stairway leading all the way up. And here we're going to take a look at the lobby section. Uh, unfortunately, there's no elevator in this building, so folks are just going to have to hoof it up the steps. But <laughs> there are steps, so there is an actual way to get from one floor to the next. And I do apologize for everyone who comes to stay at the Great West that, uh, yes, the only bathroom is indeed on the top floor. And we're going to take a look in here. So some of the elements were carried over from that uh capital city set like that little bit of rug right there um and a couple uh like i say a couple of elements from the outside but there wasn't really a lot to that set but you can see here we got the uh at the check-in desk a couple of folks from out of town just put their ufo up looking to stay over for a night or two and we got that winding staircase there that's why we have to have that uh the entire side there just solid instead of uh, like I have the opposite side there arched but it all works together pretty well I think maybe I don't know let me know what you think